For the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. My name is Blessing Olubanjo, and I am here to bless you with the word of life. Before we continue, let us pray. My Father and my God, I call upon you this day. Lord Jesus, use me as your vessel of honor. Lord, I surrender to you, dear Lord, my spirit, somebody. Come and use me as your mouthpiece. Make me a blessing to your people and let your name be glorified. Speak and transform our lives. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. You are worthy, 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 Lord. We have a God that never fails. Some people, when they are speaking about God, they say the man upstairs. <laughs> That's why when I'm singing, sometimes I do like this. God, the only true God, the living God, the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omnipresent, the only true and wise God loves you. The God that never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My Lord is good forevermore. Jesus, thanks a million. Jesus, thanks a million. Jesus, thanks a million for that you have done Jesus times a million Jesus times a million Jesus times a million for that you have done. It's good to thank God. It's good to praise the Lord. It's good to magnify the Lord God of us. For he is worthy of our praise. The words of encouragement to you today is titled as a man ticket. The word of God says in the book of Proverbs 23 verse 7. It says that as a man ticket, so is he. So my question is, how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a blessing? Do you see yourself 
as a success story? Or do you see yourself as a failure? If you see yourself as a failure, then you have to have a change of mind. It is not the will of God for us to be a failure or for us to see ourselves as a failure. For the fact that you try to do something to better your life and things do not work out the way that you wanted to does not mean you are a failure. Look at the story of a lot of people that are great men and women of God today. Great success, great role models. If they should share their story with you, you will know that you are not a failure at all. For you to be alive, there is still hope. That's why people say, when there is life, there is hope. My, my word of encouragement to you today is that you should pay attention of the way that you think. For he is like one who is inwardly calculating. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. Do not, verse 9 of Proverbs 23, do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the good sense of your words. Verse 12, it says, apply your heart to instruction and your ear to words of knowledge. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. This is what God has in store for you right now. God is speaking to you through me at this very hour. Apply your heart to instruction and your ear to words of knowledge. Beloved, God loves you and God does not want you to write off yourself. Have people written you off? Let that not bother you. Let it not discourage you. Keep believing. For the word of God says that all things are possible to him that believe it. Jesus says all things are possible to him that believe it. With God, all things are possible. God can transform your life. God can change your story. But you must believe. For without faith, it is not possible to please God. You must have faith in God. You must have faith in what God has put on the inside of you. You must have faith in that silence, in that gift, in that ability, in that knowledge, in that wisdom that God has given to you, that intellect that God has given to you. As a man think in his heart, so is he. Please, the way we think matters. The way you think matters. The way you see yourself matters. Maybe you are not yet a graduate. Maybe you have not yet broken through financially. That does not mean that you cannot have financial breakthrough. Maybe your desire is to win souls for Christ. Maybe your desire is for God to use you to heal the sick, to raise even the dead. Maybe your, your, maybe your own hard desire is to break through in your singing, in your businesses, in everything that God has given to you. Please don't give up. You can break through, but the way you think matters. If somebody tell you that you will fail, tell yourself that you will not fail. And I guarantee you by the grace of God, definitely you will not fail. Because it is not about what people say. It's about what you yourself say. If people say you will never be married, and you say you will never be married, then you have just signed that contract. 
But if they say you never be married, and you say to yourself you'll be married, and if you'll be married to somebody that will not break your heart, beloved, that is exactly what will happen. It is just a matter of time. So there is nothing that God cannot do. When I was suffering for S, from SE lupus, it looks as if that I will never be healed one day. Because the doctor says that it's incurable. But I put my trust in God that one day, this SLE lupus will no longer be in my blood. With everything that was going on as if I was dying. But I put my trust in God that I will not die before my time. And today my life is a testimony. Your life can be a testimony. So don't give up. Don't look down on yourself. If people may look down on you, it doesn't matter. But make sure you don't look down on yourself. People may say you cannot make it. But make sure you don't agree with that negative. Make sure that you put your trust in God that you will make it. Definitely you will make it. That you are not a mistake. That you are not a failure. The word of God says in the book of Deuteronomy 28. Let's quickly go to Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy 28. And let's see what God is saying there. Because what I'm telling you, it is very, 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 very important. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 1, it says, And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruits of of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle the increase of your heads and the young of your flock blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl blessed shall you be when you come in blessed shall you be when you go out the lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways the lord will command the blessing on you in your bounds and in all that you undertake and he will bless you in the land that the lord your god is giving you the lord will establish you as the only people to himself as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandment of the lord your god and walk in his ways and all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And that they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity. So prosperity is not a sin. In the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock, your livestock and in the fruit of your ground, within the land that the Lord swore to you, to your fathers to give you, the Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens to give the rain to your land in the season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. God Almighty is not an idol. So God is saying that if we can only put our trust in him, the only true and living God, God is his spirit. We cannot see with our physical eyes. But God is alive. He does not, he created everything, including the sky, the moon, 
the stars, the firmament, under the, the, the sea, everything. But he created everything, including you and I, for his own pleasure. And he does not want us to worship any object or anything in the air, in the land, in the sea, in the firmament, and other other planets, but only him through Jesus Christ. So that is why it's good for you to give your life to Jesus. When God created Adam and Eve, we came through Adam and Eve. But when they sinned against God, we were separated from God until Jesus Christ came through Virgin Mary and he died for the sin of the whole world. And God now says, if only we can believe in him through Jesus Christ, who shed his precious blood, then we'll be saved. We will have eternal life. That even if we are in this world, for whatever be the years we spend in this world, by the time that is time when God says it's the time, our time on earth here is up, we'll be able to go back to spend eternity with Him and with Jesus Christ in heaven. That is why, if you have not given your life to Jesus, it's good for you to give your life to Jesus. Don't leave this world without Jesus Christ. You may be doing different good, good things to people. It's not good enough. The word of God says that our righteousness is like a fitty rack before God. But when we give our life to Jesus, God sees us as righteous because Jesus Christ is righteous. He was born by Virgin Mary. His blood that is shed for us is pure. That's why God accepted the sacrifice. And he said, if you and I can come to him and repent of our sin and accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior, we shall be saved. When people die, we say that let the person's soul rest in perfect peace. One soul can only rest in peace when such a person has given his or her life to God. Because after death is judgment. There is heaven and there is hell. When somebody dies, the person we either go to heaven or we go to hell. Nobody wants to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. I myself, I don't want to go to hell. We will not go to hell by God's grace in Jesus' name. But you need Jesus in your heart. So, beloved, the way you think matters. As I've just read in the Word of God, you can see that God wants you and I to be blessed. He wants us to prosper. He does not want our enemies to defeat us. He does not want anything evil to happen to us. He does not even want us to have pain, to have all these different troubles in the world. But we must put our trust in him. Because the devil does not want anyone to serve God. The devil does not want anybody to serve God. So, he does not want you to have peace of mind. But give your life to Jesus. It doesn't matter what people are thinking about you. But what you think about yourself matters. So don't see yourself as a failure. When, when you are sick and the, and the doctor says there's no cure, believe that there is cure. And one day, your miracle will come to you. You may be lacking in money or in different things. Put your trust in God. Believe that your story will change. Beloved, your story will definitely change. It's just a matter of time. Because all things are possible to him that believe it. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I encourage you to give your life to Jesus today. And if you have, but maybe you become discouraged and you decided not to follow Jesus Christ and you have gone back to the world, please, I encourage you to have a change of heart Come back to God. Come back to Jesus Christ. Your ending well is what matters. So, I encourage you to give your life to Jesus. By saying this prayer, welcoming Jesus into your heart. To be your Lord and personal Savior. Let us pray. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe in you. 
have mercy upon me and save my soul. Wash away all my sins with your blood. Lord Jesus, give me your Holy Spirit so that I can live the life that God has called me to live. I want to end well. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Satan, I don't need you in my life. I renounce and I denounce you and I command you wherever you are heading in my life. Pack your load and leave and go back into the sea and come back no more. I am a child of God. I have given my life to Jesus. Jesus is my Savior, my Redeemer, my friend, my all in all. Thank you, God Almighty, for saving my soul. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. If you have just prayed that prayer with me, I say congratulations. Your name is written in the book of life. Your soul is saved. I will encourage you. If you don't have a copy of the Holy Bible, Old and New Testament, I encourage you to get one. You can go to BibleGateway.com or you can just type it in Google. Buy Holy Bible. And you'll be able to get, you know, a copy of the Holy Bible. The Word of God is God in letters. The message today is as semantic tickets. How do you think? Let us pray. My Father and my God, Lord, I have shared your word with your people. Transform their lives through your word that they have heard today. Lord, no matter what has happened to them in their life, that has made them to be discouraged. Lord, encourage them today. Any way that they have been thinking that is contrary to your will, Lord, turn it around in Jesus' name. Are they sick in their bodies? Father, heal them in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever be the hard desire of your people, in accordance to your will, Lord, bring it to pass. Where people have written them off, Lord, write them in. Where the enemy says that they cannot prosper, cause them to prosper. Where the enemy says that they cannot break through, Lord, cause them to have breakthrough. Lord, meet them at the point of their need. Change your story in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just want to thank you for giving your people their grace to hear your word, to live by your words, and to, and to have that blessing and breakthrough that you have for them. Thank you, Lord, for all answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I thank you for listening to me. May you be forever blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Take of yourself. God bless you. Until next time, it's bye for me. Blessing, Ulubanjo.